Hey, sister, don't drop that. Sis, let me give you a commandment that you're breaking right now. Yeah, you, yeah. Come on. Hey, you love the Lord? You love the Lord? Huh? Well, check this out. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Break it out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. God said a woman in pants, a man in a dress in a, is an abomination. An abomination is something that the Lord, that God hates. Right. He hates abominations. Right. Did you know that, sis? Did you know that's in the Bible? He doesn't have no dress on. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Check it out. The woman shall not. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, listen, listen, family. We, you, you know, we didn't come a long way from understanding we brothers and sisters, right? So we, fought, when you hear somebody give you correction or give you something that will give you eternal life, that will lift you up, we have to come back to loving that. We have to come back to saying, you know what? That's my brother. That's my sister telling me that, right? That's my brother. That's my sister telling, wanting the best for me, right? You, you. Y'all the people of our community. We are family, right? And it's a shame. I just saw when we, when we pulled up, right? We saw the white man out here, the police out here, talking to the people. But they wasn't of our community. And I was getting ready, and I was getting ready to go to They... White boy, where you live at? Exactly. Exactly. So why is it that they can come out and correct our people, but your own family can't? Right. All we trying to do is uplift you. Matter of fact, give me Lamentations 4 on 1. The, the problem is this. We don't really know who we are. We don't really know how great we are. That's what the problem is. So when you're hearing things like repent, stop doing this, stop doing that, you don't really feel it's any benefit of changing what you're already doing because you don't know how great you are. Break it out. You see that skin on you and you think it's ugly. You see that hair on your head and you want to straighten it. You see the beautiful brown eyes and you want it to be light and blue. That's what our people do. And I'm not saying y'all in particular, but that's something that our people commonly battle with within themselves. And it's hatred. It's self-hatred. We got to get back to loving ourselves. So when we get correction from our brother and our sister, it don't hurt. It don't mean shoot that nigga now. Fight that nigga now. Hate that nigga now. No, it means, okay, he trying to show me some love. My brother and my sister saw me in the wrong way. They tried to show me some love real quick. We got to get back to that. Give me Lamentations 4 and 1. Because we have to understand how great we once were so that we can understand what we got to climb out of and what we got to get back to. All right? You don't know where you're going if you don't know where you're from. Come on. Lamentations chapter 4 verse 1. How has the gold become dim? So the Bible says, this is in the Holy Bible. It says, how has the gold become dim? Guess who the Bible is talking about is the gold, black man, black woman. You are the gold in the Bible. That's but right. you've been lied to your whole life, and you think this is the white man's book. You think the white man wrote the book. You think the white man is talking about the white man in this book, and he is not. Christ is black. God is black. Right. The gold in this Bible is talking about you brothers and you sisters out here right now. Right. But it says, how has the gold become dim? How has the gold, that shiny, precious material, become dim, cloudy, full of impurities? It don't shine no more. How has that happened? Come on. How has the most fine gold changed? How has the most fine gold? You blacks and you Hispanics, God, the Holy Bible says you are the most fine gold. And it asks a question, how has that changed? What happened that that has changed amongst our people? What happened? Come on. The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. That's what we're looking at right now. You all are the stones of the sanctuary of God. Right. You are the house of God. That's who you are. That's right. You are the precious gems to the Lord. You are the fine gold to the Lord. But he asked, how has it happened that you now pour it out on the top of the corner? You now pour it out all over the street. You now, you're not shining no more. You're not that example to the world no more. Now you're that example of what not to do. Now every time our people walk into a store, you get the nigga bell. Nigga. Nigga. And somebody watching to make sure you don't steal their stuff. Y'all know it's true. 
We all know it's true. We all go through it every day. Break and we just, out. we used to it now. Right. But how has that happened? That's all we out here to get y'all back to. How did that happen? Okay, we all know we came, our people came here on slave ships, but why? But why? Finish that up. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold. The precious sons of Zion. You black men are the precious sons of Zion. Right, right. You the children of God. You are a black man. I know you've been told you nothing. I know you've just been called nigga, but you all are the sons of God. Sons of the living God. Your image is in this Bible. That's right. And you were taught not to read it. You were taught not to pick it up and find yourself in it. So you were renamed as the brother was teaching you how to do Deuteronomy 28. You were called up by a byword. Come on. How are they esteemed as earthen pitchers? Now you're not esteemed as the gold. You're not esteemed as that light, that beautiful thing on the earth. You're now esteemed as earthen, uh, earthen pitchers, meaning something that's made from dirt, something low to the ground. Because we were made from dirt. That's where you get your beautiful complexion from, right? Just like our Father in heaven. Just like his firstborn son, Jesus the Christ. Come on. The work of the hands of the potter. Even the sea monsters draw out the breasts. They give suck to their young ones. The daughters of my people have become cruel. And the women of our people have become cruel. Whose babies are in dumpsters? Whose babies are being put to death at an astronomical rate in these abortion clinics? Right. Whose? Is it not the precious daughters of God? Is it not you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who don't know that you're supposed to marry before you carry? So out. now you're taking your baby and putting them to death in abortion clinics? Yes, this Bible is talking about you, black woman. You, black men. You brothers are the real children of God. That's you right. are the real Jews. Right. You are the Israelites. Right. That's who you are. That's who you are. Drop that. Let's go to let's go to uh, Matthews five and fourteen. Go to Matthews five and fourteen. Christ said, "Let your light shine." That same light that is now dim, you got to get it back, brothers. You men, you got to get it back. Y'all better than what y'all know y'all is. But we are here to teach you what you come from. We are here to show you what you're supposed to be doing. Out of the Holy Bible, you brothers are supposed to be the rulers of the earth, not the block, the whole earth. It's supposed to submit and bow to you. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.